2014 Gauteng Marathon will see past winners and top runners vie for top honours on the 7th of September here in Gauteng. The race, which was launched in 2012, will be giving away prize money to the value of 1.4 million rand and is boasting a longer list of international runners. The top male and a female in the marathon will each take home a quarter of a million rand. We're now joined in studio by the reigning marathon champion, Mapaseka Makanya. Welcome. Thank you, Marilyn. Mapaseka, can you just uh, can you just tell us what what the preparation has been like, and will you be participating in the um, in the marathon once again? Yes, I'm so excited to be running again the marathon, and I have been preparing very well. Everything is going according to plan, and I'm so excited about this year's marathon because we don't know what to expect. Who are you watching out for, Mapaseka? Myself and bettering my time from last year because I don't know who else is running so it will be a surprise from the start of the race as last year it was. I surprised people maybe there might be somebody new who's running the marathon as well. So I last time we chatted we happened to meet each other at an airport and you said to me you know what I'm going to be focusing more on my 10 kilometers and 15 kilometers and now it doesn't seem that that's the case. I want to run marathon at the 2016 Olympics so I, I don't want to go out there without experience. So running marathons in South Africa is last year and this year. So next, I'm going international next year to compete against the Ethiopians, Kenyans at a very faster marathon. So for me, I think it's a good chance. And there's a lot of money. <laughs> so last year's win was your very first marathon and you were able to win it. What have you been able to run any other marathons and how are you looking at bettering your time? I, last year's marathon was my first and only marathon and next week is my second marathon. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think for me it's better. I don't want to run marathon continuously because at the end of the day I won't have speed for even the 10 kilometers. So I'd rather run once a year or even maybe twice as I mature to the marathon distances. <laughs> How has it been going in the Spa Ladies series? Because I know last year you walked away with the overall one, but this year it's all been about Lebo Palula. They moved the notch up, hey. It, it has been going well. I'm number two on the, on the Grand Prix. So for me, it's, it's not like a loss, but uh, I'm happy that the South African athletes are doing well and we're running faster times. We can now compete with the world best because we can do it on our own in South Africa. And just tell me what kind of training you've been putting in to prepare for this marathon, seeing though it's only your second marathon that you're going to be running. What, what works? Don't change what works. I, I'm doing exactly what I was doing last year and I sure hope it will work for me this year because I surprised myself. I surprised everybody with what I did. So I don't see the reason of me changing my training session. And what, because now it's, I mean, the focus is to obviously prepare for the Olympic Games 2016. That's a big goal of yours. And it's also, of course, to win on, on Sunday. But you say that you're not too sure about who else is going to come and compete in the field. And that's something that happens with the Scouting Marathon. As soon as you put up 250,000 rand as a winner's check, you see a whole host of new names just are coming through. You surprised everybody last year. And uh, maybe you can do it again, but it's not going to be easy. What's it like to actually run the race and what's the course? like I think the cost for me is is of my advantage because it's from Kruger stop to Johannesburg so the part from Rodiport to Johannesburg I train there every day of my life so when I jog I jog there for me it's an advantage when people complain about the hills I don't see them I don't feel them anymore because I train there every day so I'm, I'm looking forward to a new new competitors uh, faster ones because m maybe last year's competitors won't be running because they know what to expect. And every year it's somebody new, especially it started with a Kenyan winning, then a South African. Hopefully, again, it's a South African. It's me, obviously. I'm going there with the intention of uh, retaining my title. And I'm excited about the marathon. It's, 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 a very, it's a lot of money. Everybody wants the money. For us as athletes, it takes us throughout the year you don't even have to run every race that's coming every weekend so i'm hoping to run well there 
All right, my Paseka, we wish you all the best of luck because it's not going to be easy. And of course, we wish you all the best of luck in your journey to uh, the, uh, well, rather to try and qualify for the Olympic Games in 2016. Thank you so much, Rylan. That's Mapaseka Makanya. She is the reigning Gauteng Marathon champion. I'm going to just ask our producers if we can go back to PSL because lots of...